I'm Christina Lopez Aducci, and welcome back to At Home with House of Pop. I'm not at home today. Instead, we're in Manhattan at Workville sampling all of the best cannabis the city has to offer. So one of my favorite things about New York is going out for drinks with friends. While New York is known for its incredible bar culture, I must confess, I have a fondness for both cannabis and cocktails. Now, it can be tricky to combine the two. We've all experienced the unpleasant aftermath of indulging too much in a good thing. But crossfading isn't about getting as inebriated as possible. It's about mixing cannabis and alcohol synergistically. If you do it well, it can be absolutely sensational. So let's talk about how to do cannabis crossfading the right way. So why would you want to crossfade? Well, for me, it helps me relax and be more social. It can also be a way to wind down and ease into sleep after a fun night out. And some people find that it enhances their creativity. So let's talk for a minute about the difference between how cannabis and alcohol affect your body. Generally, alcohol acts on your central nervous system. Cannabis, on the other hand, acts on your endocannabinoid system. But what does that even mean? Okay, your nervous system is like your CEO. Your brain and nerves control and coordinate all the messages sent by the different parts of your body. In contrast, the endocannabinoid system includes receptors found on neurons all over your body. These receptors work like a team of executives that monitor and manage everything to keep you happy and comfortable. So how do alcohol and cannabis work on your body? Alcohol slows down your brain activity to sedate and relax you, but cannabis is a lot more complex. That's because depending on what combination of cannabinoids you're consuming, they can affect your mood, appetite, pain, sensitivity, and your immune response. The effects of cannabis can vary depending on how it's consumed. Some methods result in a quick onset, a short duration, but others take longer to take effect but offer a more prolonged experience. So how you choose to crossfade can make a significant difference. To ensure a safe and enjoyable crossfade, start with a low dose and gradually increase it. This approach allows you to become familiar with the effects and find the right balance for a pleasant experience. Remember, start low and go slow. Keeping that in mind, here's four different crossfading strategies for you to try. First, here's what we call the cannabis aperitif. Start with a quick puff or two just before heading out for drinks with friends. A little cannabis can reduce social anxiety and slow down your drinking. Then you can have a great night out but still feel good in the morning. Second, there's the edible nightcap. Kick off your evening with a drink and take an edible an hour or two before bed. That way, you can catch a little buzz early without being out like a light before dinner is served and still ease into a restful sleep. Or if you're looking to prolong your night out, try a one-two punch. Start out with drinks and then take a puff or two during your evening. This strategy can give you the lift you want without sending you straight to bed or worse, giving you the spins. Finally, there are loads of new products on the market that make incredible low dose cannabis infused cocktails and they can strike the perfect balance of alcohol and cannabis to give you a fantastic buzz all night long. For instance, one of our favorite New York cannabis brands, Oh, has just come out with a THC infusion specifically made for cocktails. While you can use some tinctures to make cocktails, a lot of them are not completely optimal because they're made with oil, but Oho's new pink grapefruit mixer is perfect for cocktails because it's water-based. Not to mention that it comes in one of our favorite summer flavors. So here's how to make a crossfading superstar, our take on the Paloma, the Puffloma. All you need is tequila, grapefruit soda, sugar, lime juice, and of course, Oho's pink grapefruit mixer. I'm also gonna fancy up my version with some coarse salt for the rim and a wedge of grapefruit as a garnish. This is the simplest of summer cocktails and you can mix it right in the glass. Start by rubbing the rim of a highball with a grapefruit wedge, then dip it in the salt. Next, add a quarter cup of tequila, that's two ounces, or you can use mezcal. Then add four ounces of grapefruit soda, or you can substitute equal parts fresh grapefruit juice and club soda, plus half a tablespoon of lime juice and a teaspoon of sugar. Finally, add 0.5 milliliters of the Oho mixer. That'll give you a tiny 1.5 milligram microdose of THC in each drink. Just stir it all together until the sugar dissolves and garnish it with a grapefruit wedge. That is delicious. It's absolutely perfect for a hot, humid day like it is today in Manhattan, and it's so low dose that you can enjoy a few throughout your evening. I'm sure loads of you are already crossfading out there, and we'd love to hear your favorite ways to do it. 
please share them with us in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe too. And we'll see you next time on At Home with House of Puff.